What's going on guys? Dungeon is here and I'm going to show you how to farm Shiver Peak mains. So come to Beacon's Perch and you just go right out here onto Daldramar and Bold. And basically the entire area is filled with the Shiver Peaks. So you just go right out here. And you could actually bring like a running skill and you might want to actually consider doing that. Especially if you plan on farming like the entire map. Um, which I didn't but it's probably better to actually do something like that. And since they're level 8, you could actually like farm this on like a Dervis or something. Or other characters instead of just using Spirit Spammer if you wanted to. And Derv may even be like a bit faster depending on the build that you have. So as you can see, like the Shiver Peak mains are kind of dropping like every now and then. So the drop rate is kind of just like moderate. So it's just kind of like a moderate Nick week. Um, and since the foes are low level, you can farm them relatively easily. So it's still yeah, just like an average week. Like it's not super easy, but it's not like really difficult or anything. And yeah, we're going to just take all these guys out. So there's quite a bit of them like whenever you first come out here. And you could just literally run throughout the entire map and basically farm them. And there we go. I went ahead and finished it up. So that's the path that I took, but you can farm like the entire thing if you wanted to. And now we're going to show you a different farm right here. Just go to the Borless Pass. And we're going to just enter into the mission. And the beginning of the mission, there's going to be a few groups of Shiver Peaks. And you just take them out. So you just hop in here like this. And if you're running a build like what I'm doing, you can kill the group like really quickly. So I'm going to just back out. And they'll just ball up and just take them out real quick. Like that. And if you have like a Vampiric Scythe or something, it's like you almost don't even really need to heal yourself. And I brought Sprint with this to basically speed it up a little bit. So just ball up the groups again and we're going to just take them out in like a few hits. And go ahead and speed it up a bit. So there's like quite a few groups you can get. I still think that the first farm is better because you literally farm that entire area and you can get drops that way. Whereas this right here, it's kind of like there's less groups and you have to like run around a bit. But there's also like, like there's still yeah, quite a bit of groups in like one area. And this run right here takes about four minutes. And I got like two Silver Peak mains from this and it took me four minutes to do it. So the run's not really that bad. And there's the path. And yeah, that's it for that one. So come over here and you need this quest service and defense of the eye in order to do this. It's the quest where you get Ebon Escape. So talk to this guy right here and turn to this area. And I'm going to do it with three heroes and also a summoning stone. So you want to have the least amount of heroes as possible so you can increase your drop rate. And you can also AFK this if your heroes are good enough. Um, you know, which I'm not sure if these three heroes can actually let me AFK it or not. So I'm going to actually help them out. And this farmer here takes like about like like five minutes or something, give or take. So especially if you help out the heroes, you can get through it relatively quickly. And basically they just come towards you and you get Shiver Peak mains and you also get Modnir mains. So Modnir mains, like that was like a previous Nick Week item. So it'll be a long time before it ends up becoming a Nick item again. But if you wanted to keep those, you actually could. So you can technically farm two Nick Week items. Or next time whenever the Modnir mains comes along, you could just do this farm right here and potentially get Shiver Peak mains and also the Modnir mains. So yeah, we're going to just take them out like, it's relatively easy to do, like the hero builds are good. And I'll show you the hero builds after the fight is over. And I'll also have all the builds linked in the description down below. So we just take these guys out right here, it's relatively easy to do. And also, you know, once again, like if anyone actually has like a three hero build to where you can fully AFK this, let me know because, and you could probably also farm like the beginning of the area, which is where most of the Shiver Peaks are actually at. So, you know, there's probably builds out there for that or builds that someone can like kind of come up with if they're a bit creative. And, you know, if you have that, let me know. And there's the hero builds right there. 
and I got one main and one one modern main and one shiver peak main and here's the builds right here once again everything will be linked in the description down below if you want to check out these heroes they're actually really good heroes uh, like the three party team is really good in my opinion and here we go so once you have your 15 shiver peak mains you come over here to beacons perch and we're going into Deldramar bowl and we're going to run right up through here and there's where nick is so it's a really easy run. It's straightforward. You don't really need hills or anything because the mo because the Shiver Peaks don't really like do that much damage. They're only level eight, and you don't need Shadow Farm or anything like that. You basically just like run through here. It's like it's just easy to do. And also, like they never crippled me or knocked me down or anything. So yeah, really easy. So come up here, and there's the path that I took. So you just talk to them like that, you give them all 15, and then you get your 5 gifts. And yeah, that's it. So pretty easy week. It's like a moderate week, and Dungeon is signing out.